What's up guys? Welcome back to the Gentry and Sons Trucking YouTube channel. So guys, we got the amazing Gentry mom, my wife, Ashley. So she has been freaking hard at it. I mean, when I say hard at it, let me just show you. Like my mind is blown. Honestly, it is, my mind's blown. So what is that? Chapstick two? I have like seven of these, just my purse. You like them? I love them. They good? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So there you go. Your wife's. This is not just merch for us guys. I know. So being a truck driver, I know what it's like to find shirts that fit you and fit you. And so we have went with like 10 different companies at this point to find the right fitment for our shirts. And Speaking of fit, I actually went up to 6X, which was a highly recommended sizing. Like I've got millions of emails wanting to go up to six so we took it from five to six so we got 6xl now mm -hmm. we have fitted shirts for the women um soft soft yes soft, soft. yep so if you, if you want to order a shirt for your wife she did order shirts for so you could order shirts for your wife that'll fit them better but for us guys especially us guys that like the cheeseburgers <laughs> um like these shirts actually so i wear a 2xl you know show them sure so i wear a 2xl guys and this thing fits me perfect feels good it's not real light, light it's i mean it's it actually feels really really good and it's comfortable so if you wear like a 3x order a 3x because that's the size it's going to they are you. true to size yes they really really fit good they feel good kind of feel, <clears throat> feel good <laughs> <laughs> so um she is God, honey i cannot believe you've done all this well so she had a great idea the first 10 orders will be getting autographed by me, by Brax, the Gentry mom, the whole family. We'll just let the whole family autograph them. That way, so, you know, usually you'd come to a truck show or something, we'd autograph them, but we'll do it here at the office. That way, when you get them, it's already autographed. And then, uh, of course, next show we're at, you definitely come see us. Uh, my favorite hat out of all of them is definitely- And my favorite hat. She knocked it out of the park on these. These things are hot on the market right now. Everybody's been wanting one so far. So while supplies last, um, which we have uh, pretty much bought a semi-trailer full of merch to try to keep everything stocked up. Our problem's been is we put something on the website and it sells out so quick. So she went above and beyond and this was a huge investment. Like, huge. And not only my money guys from the YouTube channel, but the money that she's been saving as well, we had to put into all this merch to uh, make it happen. but. We had to do it. We were tired of selling out all the time. We're tired of not being able to supply you guys. And I'm just beyond stoked for what she brought to us. So I just realized one thing, turn around. What? Your shirt, nope. Give me your front. front. This is my logo, guys. This is the sh logo that I've loved. I brought this in and our new shirt guy was actually able to incorporate it into our shirt. So this is our official logo. Oh, that's awesome. I know. It means something. It's very sentimental because so I did it. this is the, my favorite shirt that she put out. This is our new design. Um, out for all you America lovers, this is our 4th of July shirt. We did release it a little bit early just because. You have uh, to have it early. I mean, we got to have it early. And on top of that, America, the cab over, we have been hard at it on that thing, trying to get that thing ready to go on a trip. We're getting ready to drive that truck cross country, which we'll be putting a video out soon on that. But... What better truck for a 4th of July shirt? Oh, anyways. Yeah, definitely. The truck is 4th of July worthy 1,000%. So that gets that shirt out of the way. America all the way. Single axle cab owner. Got the boats on the back. Detroit in under the cab. Heck yeah. So if you like the Detroit that we run, the big powered monsters that we love so much that carry our business from day to day and get us our good fuel mileage. And so... We're powered by Detroit. Everybody knows that Tim Gentry is a Detroit guy. He's a Detroit fanatic. I love cats, I love them all, but for my motor, for what's carried our business through hard times and through things that we could never thought they could carry us through, they have done it 1000%. So if you're a Detroit guy and you wanna support us in our engines, we are powered by Detroit. That is the engines we run and I love these motors. These are absolutely my favorite motors. And I will, until there just no more exist, will be put into my trucks. So, love the Detroits. We still have the OG Peterbilt shirt, which you guys are going to see today what's happening with that thing. Because Gentry Mom 
when she rides down the road, she wants to be in that truck. That's her truck. She loves the W900, but when he's like, yeah, we got to have the Peterbilt back. Have to have the Peterbilt back. So everybody's been asking about that thing. So that's what's going to be on today's video. But guys, we wanted to show you the merch. We are going to stick a couple of our siphoning hoses. These are really, really good, good quality. You just stick them down in the tank. If you run out of fuel, you need to go jerk some fuel out of your reefer to get to a fuel station, put it in your truck. You stick it down in the tank, jingle the jingle the bell. I don't even, I don't, I don't even want to get into that. But, uh, <laughs> so we are going to throw a couple of these in and a couple orders, surprise orders. It ain't going to be the first one or the second one. It's going to be randomly throughout. Um, for the next 24 hours, um, we're going to be throwing a couple of these in. I think I've got like 20 of them. So... Throughout the orders, we're going to be throwing some of these in. i got to go up to the house and get the rest of them. Um, there will be random surprises in all of those random orders. I mean, we have a lot of merch to go around, and we would like you guys to sample a little bit of everything. Yep, and we're also we're trying to put a giveaway together, guys. We just don't – we want to make sure this time we do a giveaway, we do it right. We want to make sure it's, you know, something you guys can all benefit from, all you guys will love, and we can financially afford it because this was a big investment for us. I mean – Merch is a good way to support a channel, and it really is, but it's such an upfront cost to do it the right way. I mean, we could have went on Teespring or whatever it is and, and done it that way, but we want to do it to where you guys' money actually supports our trucks. So the money we make off these will, of course, go back into more merch. And another big important thing is we also support local small businesses, which yes. is who did these new T-shirts for us. Yep. So, yeah, we got a really, really good merch guy. I, I got to thank him 1,000%. I'm not putting his name out there, though, because I'm not giving him out. He told me yesterday, he's like, don't send too much business to me because I want to be able to take care of you and, you know, all your fans. He's a big supporter of our YouTube channel, and he went out of his way to reach out to us. And, he and did. And us these shirts and these hats. And, I mean, this has been, um, I mean, we spent two months now trying to get merch done the right way and we spent the last year just trying to get the proper stock so we do have it though we've got the new shirt the new design we've got keychains stickers chapstick that's mine now um i love this sticker right here this one that's my always ones. my favorite sticker that's the air force truck sticker we do have an air force t-shirt coming um we have a lot of new designs coming yep so everybody's favorite truck, you'll be getting a t-shirt for it. So we're trying to have a t-shirt ready for every truck that's coming out. The classic's coming up. So we're trying to get a t-shirt ready for it. Um, I can't tell you everything that's coming up. because are giving gonna, away all of our surprises. That's what I'm saying. That's going to spoil the videos and the surprises. But this is what we got, guys. So go on to gentryandsonstrucking.com. Uh, my wonderful, amazing wife. She really, really worked hard for this, guys. We got you guys Richardson Trucker. Richardson trucker hats, uh, which is my favorite hat. Um, as far as the trucker hats, it's definitely my favorite. They're hat. adjustable, so one size fits all. You're not gonna worry about being too small, being too big. You adjust it to fit your head. Yeah, so I'm very picky about my hats because of the way they fit, right? The only hat that will fit my head properly is a Richardson, so. That and a fitted hat, and it's super hard for me to find a good fitted hat. Anyways, guys, we're going to let you get to today's video so you can see what the heck's going on with the Peterbilt. And, uh, of course, we love you guys, and we'll see you here in just a minute. Ugh. Whew. All right, oil cooler's off, water pump's off, water neck. There's a kettle cooler or something. I don't know what that's off of. It ain't off mine. You got all the... Let's see, what's left holding the front cover... I got them all. Just you got them all? Yeah. you've been playing this. You gotta make sure. You've been playing them in chain like fiddle. Yeah, all right, all the wool pan bolts are out of it. The, man, all this for a little bitty tiny oil leak Energy. that I fixed with Permatex. I just didn't feel right about it though. My OCD kicked in, I couldn't sleep at night. Yeah, I'm just going to All this junk I got laying around. Freaking junk. junk. I gotta get me a junk shirt. But Tim's junk. 
Dude, after seeing them always hauling rigs, I'm gonna have to really step, step up my game. <laughs> like they're nice. What? Always hauling trucks that Cleese has got hauling their bigs. Oh, yeah. I was doing them. I'd say them suckers are five hundred thousand dollars a piece though. Ooh. I don't think I could ever haul enough cars. To put yeah. Them. Bye guys, they got some nice looking rigs though. I will say that. So nice, I want to step it. Woo, look at this big fancy engine. What do you think about this big, nice, beautiful engine? Oh man, I'm just glad to see, <laughs> see it in. Man, it's been a journey in it. Yeah, it's been one heck of a journey. So guys, what I'm thinking about doing now, even though we got a brand new air compressor and all that stuff on it, is actually sw switching it over to serpentine. Um, I mean, these V-belts work out good, but these brackets vibrate, move, and eventually they wear out the cover and you get oily. Huh. So I'm really thinking about trying to find the, um, a bracket to switch it over to serpentine. Now we ain't got to deal with that crap. Yeah, it doesn't shake loose. Yeah. If we can find a serpentine bracket, it would take a lot of issues off in the future. Hey, Dad. You're not videoing it. Like he told me a lemon or something. So we have a, oh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just, you, no, that's a pretty good old truck. I like it. It looks cool. Yeah, I like it. It's a smooth ride and it's just, I mean. Oh, Here we go, baby. Woo! Holy moly. God, oh. Look at all that, Braxton. What are you going to do with all that? I don't know. Rusty. Rust. It's rusty? More rust. Mm. There she is, boys. That's the inside of this kitty cat engine. It is. And now we have to pull. What really sucks is you have to pull all this crap off just to take this cover off. Right here. Right. And this cover is going to leak it right back here. You gotta unbolt all that. All of it. Slide it all out. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm getting cool though. Let's see here. So, um, get apart so there's your crank this is the crank one this is the uh i guess you consider this the bull gear yeah um yeah this is the bull gear right dad yep yeah that would be it now here's your accessory this feels pretty good we actually can't take it off yet we gotta get the engine in time Does this Man, that's nuts. All this for a freaking little cover. <coughs> but I guess if it was easy, everybody would be doing that. Everybody would be doing it. I hate this part. I absolutely hate this part. Wow. Oh, I hate timing a motor. <laughs> I hate it. Things can go wrong pretty quickly. And if you don't get it perfect when you uh, put it back together and go to crank it, it's out of time. That's, oh. So then you have to go back out? Yeah, but we'll check it all while it's apart. Okay. Remember that time when I was, well, like 16 years old, I did the talon? Oh, and uh, bent all the valves in the head. Oh, that's a nightmare. This car that I was working on, I timed it wrong. I timed it three times. 
But the water pump kept leaking and a gasket was leaking and I pulled it back apart. The last time, somehow I got it out of time and it bent the valves. Lesson learned, I had to pay for it. Because oh. <clears throat> he wouldn't listen to me. I was a teenager. <laughs> Learned my lesson though, didn't I? Yeah. Now the stupid air conditioner on that stupid wire. Crazy bunch of. I knew that was gonna be a mistake when they did that. That's why I never get it done on the road, ever. every time. I told you, Jason, man, it's, it's gonna be a mistake. Gonna be a mistake. Get home and then we'll. All right, we got to uh, set up a table. Set up a table. You got a table or your toolbox over here and set it on top of the toolbox. Slide the toolbox over here. We'll set it on top of everything. in trouble. No, it's... There's a big old one too. Lay it in there like, like it was time to lay it there. I'm pretty sure that's uh I mean, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I mean, what's it supposed to be on? What's it say? Because they were pretty I mean you don't tighten them completely tight, just a little bit of what is it, a thousandth? Yeah, so we can take a I can make a filler gauge to go in between the gears. I just have to go see what the tolerance is so I have to pull up on cat. Ugh, I hate that noise. There you go. So what I'm learning at 30, 31, Braxton's learning at 9. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy how that works. Braxton will do this when he's 10. At least you can go back and watch a video, right? Like, hmm, I remember dad one time when I was nine years old. <laughs> I actually got a month until I turned 10. Think they're gonna let you get your CDL at 10? You're sick, good. I do too. You probably will have CDLs out there driving the team. I'd trust him too. Well, yeah. I've seen. I mean, local, like around town and stuff, Parks does great. Not the local. I don't think we're seen that far. I can get me. See, can't get that off. That's perfect. Look at all them things. It's crazy the weight difference in these in a Detroit too. That's it. Yeah, this one. No, that's supposed to stay in it. Or is it behind Both it? Them are, all three of them are supposed to come off. Sure. Yeah, because it's it. Okay. That one and that one. And then it should slide off, Braxton. Slide right off. So 
this whole thing is coming right off. The whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing, buddy. The orbit. Chisel there. there you go. Walk it off that down pin. Nice and easy. Go side. Got all the boats, right? Mm -hmm. Is this pretty heavy? Go for it. <coughs> oh. Oh, there you go. That's probably pretty heavy. There it is, Braxton. I felt that dang thing leaks. Those gaskets are they're worth bad about it. I don't know, they're, they're metal. No vibrations, I won't cause it. Ooh. Woo! Look guys, right here is the leak. Right here. You can see right here where it's leaking. Right in here. But see that Permatex I put on there, it sealed perfectly. <laughs> so I could have left it like it was. Trick with Permatex, you gotta put it on there and let it set. Yeah, I'll let it a real thin layer. And then let it dry yeah, and then look, go back look on. Look how perfect it sealed though. Because you can't double it up. I tried that one time. They would dry. The gaskets, yeah. There's your gasket. Get it off. Don't use no whiz wheel either. I ain't going to. I'll clean this with my hand. There it is, guys. There's the front of a cat 16 liter Stop engine. That. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop yeah, they're coming tomorrow. Oh, what is that? I had to order doors. That's all the permit takes. That is some big stuff. Uh, I'm doing two doors. I want to be able to get my YouTube trucks in for now. Pretty thick stuff, right? Yeah. A lot of it, too. Sealed, though, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I put one layer on, let it sit overnight, and then another layer, and then... Because I didn't, you know, I didn't plan on taking it plumb down. To it. And now I was like... Okay. Oh. That been on that for years. All right, we got it all cleaned up. And here is the new, new, new gaskets. $1,500 worth of new gaskets. Ooh. I guess that holds it out against it. Oh, they got it rubber banded together, I see. Well, that's weird. That is a weird looking gasket. I hope it's the right one, I'm pretty sure it is, but you never know anymore. One piece. 
Yeah, hopefully that's the right one. And guys, this thing's got cat road all over it, so it's pretty expensive. That name right there is expensive. Here, this is what it looks like all cleaned up. I had to do it pretty much by hand. So you're in a pretty crucial area right here. So we're gonna get this gasket on there and get the cover back on it. That way, we ain't gotta worry about anything getting in the motor. All right, guys, we got this thing super cleaned up. Went the extra mile and just went ahead and cleaned it all so we can paint it once it's on the motor. Had two O-rings to replace. There's one, there's two. This baby's ready to go back on. Looks good, don't it? Oh, Lord. Put the dial pin back in. What is that stuff you put on there? It's Indian. Uh, it's called an Indian something. That's, I've used it for years. It's so straight. Looks like a charm, it does. God, I just don't want no more leaks on this motor. I hate oil leaks. Yeah. Absolutely hate oil leaks. Ready for this, Braxton? Like a brand Beautiful. new. Beautiful. Slap her together. That's all the bolts. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy, ain't it? Crazy, right? Yeah, it is. Good boys. Got them two in. Got one, two, three. It's beautiful. Four, five. Goes up the side there. Huh. It's beautiful. It's crazy. Just the bolts on. We'll pull this in snug and then we get. Put the things back on and. Boy, it's gonna be nice to have this thing running again. I do miss my Pete. Thought I could do without it for a little bit, but nope. I just ain't, I ain't too happy without it. Brax has been upset with me ever since we pulled it down, ain't you? You got one, two, three. And then we're going with the other plate. I just got this side over here now. Just like that, we just fixed the little leak, hopefully. The Permatex in me won't just like smother in Permatex as we put it on. This, part, this works better than Permatex, I tell you. I know, but just, I'm just saying like, you know, when you, Work on something that takes forever to get to. You just want to smother it. It'll make sure it ain't gonna leak ever again. See how when you squeeze it, it squeezes together. All right, where's the other bolts? We gotta torque these down. She is back on the cover. Back on. It's crazy. All that to do that, huh? It's nuts. Got them all back on in in time. Good job, buddy. What? Yeah, probably for the that other cover. Yep, the front cover. Those. And we can pull it back apart and change them if you want to. What? I was just kidding. I was just kidding, buddy. Brax like, yeah, what? Man, he said, no, heck no. He's 
tighten her up. Don't break them. They're a big strong arm. What are you doing? Let me see that hat, Brax. That thing is sweet. Man, I love the American flag in the camo. GentryandSonsTrucking.com, and you can get you one of those hats. We got a bunch of different colors and new design on t-shirts. Man, I love that shirt. I think she knocked it out of the park on that, don't you, Dad? Out of the park, Braxton. You gonna put the cam in first, or you gonna? You didn't break that, did you? No. Yeah. Slipped off. Let me check yeah. it. Let me just check, Brax. I know you. You like to break stuff around there. Golly, you did it too tight. <laughs> Braxton, he's stout. Tough dude, he's monster, ain't he? I ain't kidding you. He got him just about right. Look at what arms he's got. He got no little 22s there. They got 30 30s, ain't you? 12. Dang, dude. First one to get the back line for out. That's pretty crazy. You're right on your mark. Arm marks. Yeah, that looks good. Looks pretty good to me, don't you, Brax? Yeah. So we'll find out when we start up and it goes. And the fish flies through the roof. If it explodes, I'm just going to cry, okay? I will cry. The cam is hiding back there somewhere. Oh, you want to put the cam in? Is that what you're saying, Brax? Yeah. Ready for the cam. It's, it's all cleaned up. Hey, Brax. It's all clean. Hey, Brax. Hmm? Sitting back here. Let me go get it. Hold on. I'm gonna show them all of our surprises. Secret. Right there. there Why is it you uh, started it up and it cracked in half? I'd be upset. Monster cam, man. Eh. Do you see the lows compared to the other ones? They're huge. We got any assembly glue, like some good. Actually, some Lucas would be nice for some AMS oil. AMS oil. I'm curious, oil in something a long time, actually. Yeah. Like, He's been slacking lately. I go fishing at like 5 a.m. or something like that. Look at all that. Yeah, get it in there, it's gonna be fun. Yes. It's always getting out, it's easy. Couldn't brush anything. Here go right in there. Yeah. Sure. Gotta lift the back of it up, put it in, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. My. What is that? Hey. I your vibrator off, Shane. <laughs> I forgot I had a dry band. You always had to, I got tired of sweeping out the dry bands. So I bought this leaf blower. The battery's still charged in it. <laughs> I'd say that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like vibrator, man. Those are super duper ones. That's gonna be funny. Hey, that thing is sliding up in there. Oh. How long do you think it's gonna be? Come on. 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 Come on.
Why not? Nothing possible. That's interesting. I did. I just did. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> much room in there. Right? Pick yours up. One more. I'll just slap her all over it. Lucas. Oil. Oh. I don't push it hard. So stabilize. Thanks, Carson. That should be it. Right yeah. there. Like a brand new one. So there must be caps that go in there or something? Thousand horsepower big cam, son. Golly, y'all talk about my dryer. What do y'all do over here? <laughs> it's in. What say? Hmm? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what <can> I say? <laughs> <laughs> he said it was messy. Oh, look at all that. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the, all the gears back on, got it in time. We put the cam in, we got the cam cover, I don't know, what do you call that, ring? It's like, like a holder for the cam, which has an O-ring that goes in it, but Dad always just seals it off with silicone, that way we know it don't leak. So, all that's on, everything's back in place. Then uh, we got the cam in time, too, so... We already put the cam gear on, but you can't put the cover back on with the cam gear on it. So you got to put your main cover back on, then your cam gear. Then you can screw the sensor in. So me and Brax is going to take this to them to the local car wash and clean it off real good. Spray it off. Get it good and clean before we stick it back on. That cam's in. We got to cover the motor back up. We are going to call it a night, though. It's like midnight. And we are ready to go to the house. So, guys, we're going to finish this up tomorrow. Thanks for coming and watching this nice little adventure with the cat motor and Shane's truck. We got that bad boy motor in it ready to get it wired up. With fuel prices right now, Shane's going to drive our truck for just a little bit until hopefully fuel comes back down. And it makes more sense for him to go into his own truck and be an owner operator. But I just let him call my truck his anyway. <laughs> yeah. He's making a smart move, I feel like. I mean, I really do. For fuel, six bucks a gallon, it's hard to start out and start from zero anyway. So if we all work together and survive it, we still got a business to go to when fuel hopefully comes back down. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, fuel? <laughs> I mean, something's got to give. I mean, I'm already... Yeah. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. Or we're, some, we're going to give if something's got to yeah. give. I hope they do something soon, guys. It's really getting scary for a lot of people. And I mean, I'm... Increasing regular fuel backup as well. I was talking to my wife, and she said regular fuel is starting to go back up. So. I know two companies that's already folded. I mean, literally, they went out of business in the last week. Yes. And two very, you know, they've been successful up to this point, very yeah. successful. And, you know, fuel limits have gone up. You know, a lot of people work off of fuel cards, which they have credit. You know, you pay that weekly or monthly or biweekly, and, and those limits have to be doubled and... This, there's a lot of situations that you don't prepare for. And most people haven't prepared for it. You wouldn't even think about. I mean, you're running a day-to-day -day business. You don't think about stuff like this coming in the future. So, you know, it's hitting the companies. Drivers are stuck out on the road with no fuel because they their cards are maxed out. So, all we can do is pray for everybody and hope they survive and hope everybody was prepared for this. And for those that wasn't, I mean, it sucks and. Maybe when things get better, they come back. Who knows? 
I think this is their way of cutting out all the small people. I really do. And oh yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. The trucking diesel, school, the speed limiter now, yeah. the fuel, the it's so much regulation in our industry. No other industry gets regulated like we do, and no. they could say it's deemed for you know public safety, but no, come on. No, I mean, come on. It's <laughs> it's obvious yeah. at this point. So, anyways, guys, we're going to call it a night. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We're going to go home, get some sleep, and come back in in the morning and try to get that motor knocked out, get it back in the peat. We're at least going to get all these trucks done and get them to where they're workable. So, when they need to come into service, they can come into service. But we've got all of our higher fuel mileage trucks running. We've cut down on costs. We've cut down on expenses. We've cut down on everything we've cut down on to uh, just make sure the company survives. We're doing okay. I mean, I ain't gonna say we're going out of business or, you know, we're suffering or anything like that, because we're not. We, we are just, we're being cautious and being prepared for what's coming. So anyways, we'll see you tomorrow, guys.